I had a young lady who was going through a roundabout. She panicked and started crying. I asked her, what can I do to help you? She said, you can't do anything. I just need to cry, C-R-Y. She cried for about five minutes, literally sobbed. And I wanted to support her, but there was nothing I could do. She cried for three to five minutes in the car, wiped her face, looked at me and said, I'm okay. We all go through emotional trauma. Concerns about vehicle maintenance, I've been through that before. Anxiety about a car breaking down. Imagine being five, seven, 12 hours, 21 hours away. Your car breaks down. Your serpentine belt that turns the crank, the air conditioning, the alternator, everything breaks. It's in the middle of the night. You have a blowout on a massive interstate. Those things are very scary. Then they cause you a lot of problems. And you do get sad, and there's no one to blame but yourself because you have to stay up on your vehicle maintenance, checking your tires, changing your oil, making sure your windshield wipers are pliable so when they go over the windshield, they don't split and crack. Next. I do agree with you, 100%. Fear of a DUI. Most states across the United States, I'm talking to you from North America, the limit for alcohol intoxication is 0 0.08. If you're driving over that level, you're putting yourself in danger, you're putting other drivers in danger. And alcoholism is a disease. We've all had a sister, an auntie, an uncle who drinks too much during family events and you are worried about them. We've all been through that. 